Hello and welcome back to Holistic Within. This is the second video, second week. Last week I told you we were going to talk about biomagnetism and we are, but because it's such an extensive topic, uh, we're only going to be doing like an introduction to it. Now, before we jump into the physics of it, uh, I want to tell you that biomagnetism, it is not a treatment, it is not a therapy. Biomagnetism, it is the relation between magnetic fields and biology, life. Uh, now, that being said, there is a lot of treatments and therapies that fall into the category of biomagnetism, but they're not all created equal, they're not all created for the same, for the same thing, or uh, they don't have the same pur uh, purpose. Some, for example, like the, the emotional uh, code, the emotion code by Dr. Bradley Nelson, uh, we use a magnet to swipe through a meridian in the body to get rid of emotions or, neg or negative experiences. I know what you're thinking, like, what? That's, that, sounds, that sounds awesome, but how, how does it work? Uh, how can you erase a, 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 an emotion by swiping a magnet through uh, a part of uh, the, the body? And before we get to the basics of that, I can give you an example. If you take out a credit card, it has a magnetic strip on the back. And that strip holds information about your bank account and all those things. If you were to pass a magnet, don't do it. If you were to pass a magnet through it, you're going to lose all the information in that, in that strip. Next time you go and try and buy something, it's not going to work because the information has been changed. In the same way, we have, we're creating at all times a, a, a magnetic field and that field contains, contains uh, oscillation. And oscillation means frequency. And frequency means information. So yes, of course, we can help erase emotions with, uh, with a magnet. Um, that's focused to uh, mental health. That is focused to emotions. There is a treatment like the biomagnetic pair that we do here too, that uh, it it's, uh, focuses more on the pH of the body. It, uh, with, uh, with a pair of magnets, we're able to find uh, points of resonance within the body that uh, are out of balance. We uh, unblock it and the body is able to uh, get the balance of the pH just right. Now, how does it work? So for that, we need to jump to the basics of everything in the physical world. We're talking about the atom. Uh, the atom is made by a nu nucleus that it has a positive charge um, and then it has orbits and in the orbits there is electrons that have a negative charge. Now there is four kinds of atoms. The first one is the neutral atom and it's the atom that has the same amount of charge inside than in its orbits. And because there is the right amount of electrons going around, it doesn't want to give anything, but it also doesn't want to take anything. So it's just, you know, that atom that is just cool, you know, it's complete, it doesn't care what you're doing, it's just, you know, being itself. Now, the second kind is the atom that, uh, that has more to give. It's the atom that has more than what it needs. It has more electrons that that what it needs, so therefore it's always trying to give. It's uh, it's a giver, and uh, you probably experience this after a storm. You know, after the rain and the lightning, uh, it passes, and then you are able to breathe a lot better, and even the air smells better, and you feel better. Sometimes even the pain uh, goes away if you have pain. You feel better, and that's because the oxygen that is left behind it's charged with a lot more electrons than what it needs. So it becomes this oxygen that is willing to give energy. And then we're able to breathe in and the, the oxygen gets transferred to the blood a lot easier, a lot more efficiently, uh, efficiently. And then in the blood, we have this iron where this biochemical process begins. And it's just a wonderful thing because it is a, a negative ion. Uh, in the opposite uh, sense, the positive ions, it's the atoms that have more positive charge in the middle and it lacks electrons. It needs electrons to balance itself out. So instead of giving, 
it takes away. And this is at the process, uh, uh, this is the, the, uh, at the basis of, of uh, the uh, oxidation process. This is also the, the uh, creator of stress. Our stress gets triggered uh, by positive ions, uh, among other things, but um, they, are, they are creating always chaos. You know, they, they take an organized atom and they steal things and they create chaos. So, and then there is a fourth kind, which is a free radical, which is the worst. Uh, it is the atom that has uh, unpaired electrons and uh, they are so desperate to find a companion, a mate, that they're willing to steal anything and, and uh, well, they're just the worst. Now, that's the four kinds of atoms. Now let's jump to what a magnet is made out of. And it's basically just a piece of uh, metal that has a lot of atoms with their unpaired electrons lined up a certain way, all the same way. So they pull in their forces because, well, for this I have to explain to you that an electron has something called a spin. An electron is spinning uh, it not only goes around the orbit, but it's also spinning. And that spin, it's creating uh, an electromagnetic field. So every electron has an electromagnetic field. Everything has electrons, so everything is magnetic. The thing is, we don't see the, the, the uh, magnetic field of, for example, plastic, because uh, the electrons, uh, they're creating a force that way and at the same time that way and they cancel each other out. But some material, like iron, have some electrons that are not paired. And if they align their forces together, they're able to create a magnetic field. Now, uh, a magnet has an incredible power of changing the behavior of electrons. And when you think about it, if a magnet is has the ability to change the behavior of this subatomic particle that is involved in everything all the way to acidity and alkalinity, then a magnet has uh, tremendous power. The field that it creates is going to modify things at a molecular level. And for these, we have to talk about hydrogen because hydrogen, it is, uh, at the basis of life. We're made mostly of water, H2O. We have uh, a lot of hydrogen. We are mostly hydrogen. And hydrogen, it is the atom that gives, uh, gives the acidity or the alkalinity to a substance. And this is where the biomagnetic pair comes into play because now with two magnets of opposite uh, poles, now I can nudge the body uh, into the right pH, pH level. And uh, this would be an example of a therapy that uses magnets for one very specific reason. Um, and um, what else? I think, I think this is it uh, for, for a basic introduction of biomagnetism. Uh, this is it. Uh, in the coming uh, weeks, we'll, we'll probably be talking a bit more in depth uh, about the specifics, like the biomagnetic pair and uh, what, uh, what things uh, does and, how, and a bit more about how it works. And we'll be also talking a lot about uh, the emotion code and how we can, we can help. Uh, I want to give you tools on how to uh, improve the experience of life. And uh, I don't know where you might be watching this, but uh, uh, I'm going to assume that you're very far away from where I am. So I'm going to give you tools so that wherever you are at, uh, you can uh, improve, improve your, your, your life. And um, I think that's it. Next week, I want to introduce to you the team, the people behind Hol Holistic Within. Uh, I'm going to introduce to you uh, my cameraman, I'm going to introduce to you my uh, producer, the, the boss, and uh, it's going to be fun. So stay tuned. I'll see you next week. Thank you.